The iPad as a mobile tool in distance education is really challenging. Everything from technical support, training, deploying the apps so that users have an individualized experience with the apps that they need can be challenging. We've chosen Meraki as our MDM system for this project. First thing the student needs to do is set up an Apple ID if you haven't already done so. You can go to appleid.apple.com to set it up. Basically, you need an Apple ID and an iTunes account in order to synchronize your music, movies, any iBooks, anything that you sort of purchase or that gets pushed to you when I purchase it. The form includes a lot of different fields like full name, email address, the password, three security questions, date of birth, mailing address, and there's also a screen that talks about billing information and credit card use, but you can skip that step. This is what the form looks like. This is a video that will help you set up the iTunes account on your iPad. First you go to the home screen and settings, then iTunes and App Store. If you haven't already done so, go to appleid.apple.com on a browser and set up your account. In the Apple ID section, you type in the full email address that is associated with your Apple ID and the password you set up. Tap Sign In. And here you get a choice on what you want to synchronize, videos, movies, apps, and updates. And that's all you need to do on the iPad. This short video will show you how to set up your email. Go to Settings, and then Mail, Contacts, and Calendar. Then to Add Account on the right-hand side. I'm going to choose Google. Here I'm going to set up a Mobile One ASD. So I'm just going to type in the name for the account. And I'll type in the email that's associated. I'd appreciate if you use the iTunes account that I requested you to create if you don't already have one. Type in the password. Click the Next button. Goes out and tests everything, and then it gives you a chance to select what you want to synchronize your mail, calendar, contacts, notes, and we're done. You can go back to your home screen and your email client, and your emails should appear there. Once you've set up the email address and the Apple ID on the iPad, then just let me know and I'll send you an invitation from Meraki which will allow me to push apps to you automatically. This is what the invitation looks like. It's from Cisco Meraki No Reply and the subject is Invitation to Receive Apple Licenses from Carrie Anton blah blah blah. So go to your email on the iPad, find that message, tap on the click the invitation link and that opens iTunes. You'll be asked to sign into your iTunes account using the Apple ID and you'll be asked to accept a few license agreements and conditions. This is what those screens look like. Here's the agree screen in iTunes. Once you tap the OK button here, then we're off to the races and ready to get Meraki to push apps to you that you need and that you want. In order for Athabasca University to push paid or free apps out to your device, you need to be logged in with the associated Apple ID we've just gone through the process for. You'll receive a notification that an app has been managed to you, and you can check for the app as it appears on your device by going to the last home screen on the iPad and that's by swiping right to left. If you need any assistance in setting any of this up please give me a call at the university toll-free number 1-800-788-9041 extension 2548 or sending me an email to at athabascau.ca